Hey everybody, this is Midnight Update. I'm Seamus Byrne. Welcome to Monday, the 16th of February. Seems we have a double whammy of stupidity today with the arrest of a guy from Prospect in Sydney's West who's been videotaping movies at the Blacktown Drive-In. Firstly, did he really think this was his ticket to fame and fortune? Taping movies at the drive-in? I want to find one of these just to see if it is the worst dodgy copy of all time. Now, secondly, how is this guy a serious threat to the movie business? You know what is a serious threat to the drive-in business? Night vision goggle wearing inspectors wandering the parking lot. Somehow, I don't think the last lovers of outdoor car cinema are going to take too kindly to having people perv on their in-car activities. Let's hear it for I Primus, as the only, let's call it genuine, ISP in the filtering trial, they have announced that their trial is going to be opt-in, reducing the status of this whole trial process from farcical to charade. Now add to this a nice government bitch slap as their GM of marketing and products, Mr. Andrew Sims, suggests that while they might suit some families, in his professional opinion, web filtering services should not be compulsory. He even plays that much loved China card in his reference to enforced filtering systems. Snap! I'll say it ain't so. Piney has announced it's going to be quitting the plasma TV business, signaling the death of the greatest flat screen ever created, the Curo. Don't know much about it? Go Google it. Okay, you back? Now, don't think this is a chance of getting a Curo on the cheap. You should actually expect supply is going to run out really quickly now. And who knows, maybe even an aftermarket at premium prices once official channels dry up. If you want one, grab one while you can, or wait a few years for OLED to grow up. Your choice. Microsoft wants to transform the PC and device buying experience for retail consumers by rolling out a bunch of Microsoft branded stores. I'm sure some people cracked jokes about this when the Apple store arrived here in Sydney, but now I'm just a little stunned that they're really gonna do it. Apparently the new head of retail had a background in Walmart. What's the bet Walmart was the furthest thing from Apple's mind when coming up with a concept for running their company stores? Here's a fun tidbit from late last week. A New York Times article managed to cover Twitter in a way that didn't come off as traffic chasing. It was all about the much beloved fail whale. And it seems this lovely illustration was born right here in Australia. The work of Yi Ying Lu it was picked up on iStock Photo by the Twitter folk, and the rest is history. The Linksys Media Hub launched Friday, and due to Quick and Blackberry deciding they weren't going to get along on the occasion, I wasn't able to bring a quick stream like I'd hoped. But here's the details. Now, Linksys went deep into technical details on the day, and it even started to get some of us journos confused, but in essence, the Media Hub will index all media files on your network automatically, and then make them available to any device that can come to the party. It's gonna help serve the content, but it doesn't transcode, so it's up to the receiving device to know how to play the source. You can block certain content from indexing if you're worried about those special videos you like to keep tucked away. You know the ones. And the big thing is this isn't just another media box. They're being very careful about where they're gonna sell it. Only a handful of Harvey Norman stores are gonna stock this at launch. I think it's five. Plus Len Wallace Audio is gonna stock it as well. I'm gonna run some more tests tomorrow on my home network. And now that Quick and Blackberry have kissed and made up, I'll show the results while I'm doing it on, on a quick stream at midnightupdate.com. Got some link love again tonight. This time we're feeling it for Mad Uncle Cliff and his Antipodean Steampunk Adventures site. He seems to be cooking up a lot of fun steampunk computer mods with some nice progress photos of his work along the way. We love our tech and what's not to love about some added brassy sheen. I've linked his site up at midnightupdate.com. It's Monday and I think that means it's prize day. Thanks to all who sent in some comments, suggestions and questions, but each week there can be only one. And our first winner is Stephen Rangit. Thanks, Stephen, for your R18 Plus rant. 
always enjoy a good spotted Atkinson spleen venting. I'll be in touch to send you your Plantronics headphones very soon. Now we've got another prize for this coming week, and this time it's a Netcom MyLandCam IP video camera. It's got a built-in web server so you can monitor directly from anywhere in the world, plus it has an adjustable motion detection, and it can send photos by email notification if there's any activity. I'm sure plenty of geeks would find something fun to do with this. That's all for tonight's update, update number 10. Thanks for stopping by. Send all your comments, rants, suggestions and questions to heyshay at midnightupdate.com and you can join me weeknights around midnight Sydney time for daily geek news and for more coverage, visit midnightupdate.com. Before we go, I thought I'd have a quick look at the Media Hub up close for those of you who are just itching to see it. Now this is the 400 series. There is a 300 at 649 and the 400 series goes for $699. Now for the extra $50, you get the six in one card reader and you get the LCD readout. Now this lets you adjust a number of settings on the box as well as get a quick view of the media capacity and the media types that are currently on the drive as well as run device backups and PC backups uh, at a specific one touch option. Now, one of the big questions that came up on the day was how easy it is to upgrade the drives. It comes with a 500 gig drive, which a lot of people might not think is enough for running a media storage device. Uh, there are two drive bays inside and you can run RAID 0 if you want to get really fancy or just leave them as a pair of discs if you don't care. Now, it really couldn't be easier. There is a toaster style opener on the box and literally the drives come straight in and out of the top. Uh, it is really, really simple to do the upgrades. There's no cable mess or anything like that. They clip straight down into two uh, serial ATA slots. So this thing is really nice. And as I say, I'm gonna have a, more of a look at it tomorrow. And I will also look at the HTC Android and the new Arial Atom systems from Alltech. So if you tune into the quick stream, you can get a look at these then.